Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Combat Scotland TV. Uh, you're joining me, Stuart Allen, here at the GTVA gym, head of the Blitz 4 show on Saturday. Uh, just talking to the uh, head coach here at the GTVA, Craig Flown, uh, and a few of the fighters as well, uh, ahead of the, the show. So join me at cage side, or at ringside, should I say. <laughs> I think it was last night. Join me at ringside uh, in the gym is Craig. Craig, how are you doing? Uh -huh. uh, how's preparation for the show going? It's I had its ups and downs, but it's, we've went from 14 fights down to 11, and then we've got back up to 14. So, but touch wood, we've not had that many pullouts. It's been, it's been pretty smooth. And as far as the gym's concerned, as far as your your, your own fighters are concerned, mm -hmm. how are these guys how are these guys getting going, getting on? I've well, got six guys on, um, so the six of them, the only person that's uh, Mikey and Paul, I've had a change of opponent, which was relatively easy. Um, but apart from that, we've not had any hiccups or anything like that. Everyone's went smooth, they're all training hard, they're all running, dieting, everyone. It's all going well. Now, the the show that I've got to touch on this, obviously, the, the, the show uh, is a show that uh, Jordan Cole uh, was scheduled to fight on, or should have been uh, fighting mm -hmm. on this show. Uh, tragically, we, we, we lost Jordan uh, not so long ago. How has that impacted on the, the feeling in the gym uh, as, as well as your own feelings and the run up to this? Yeah, it's an added motivation, I would imagine. Um, we've got the the Decalic award, and that's for the C class guys, the undercard guys. So that, he's the only kind of added incentive. But like all C class guys that are fighting on the show, they're they're desperate to win that. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's just mo extra motivation just to the Everton for the wee man and just like 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 we say that like what he's done is showed beautiful Muay Thai. So that's what we try and do now. That's what we're going to try. He really was, I mean, at such a young age, he really was an inspiration uh, to fighters, even older than him, you know, the older guys as well, you know, guys, mm -hmm. guys ages with yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, looked up to Jordan, even though he was very young. Uh, you know, he's a very sad loss uh, to, to the sport, sad loss to the country, and a sad loss, uh, obviously, to, to the people round about who knew him as well. Mm -hmm. the, the, the award itself, what's going to happen with that? Is that just going to be a one off? Or is that going to be no, something we're, that's. We're going to do it every year, and um, this year, Jordan's mum's going to present it, so she's going to, they've, they've put the money for the trophy forward because they've, even though there's a bit of an argument to say they don't have to, but they want to, they feel they have to be part of it, so every year they want to buy the trophy, have a family member there, present the awards, and we're just going to run with it every single, every single blitz event that we do. The best fighter from the undercard will get the award, because it's A-class guys, They've been there and done it, so they've they've I say they've got bigger opportunities to win trophies, titles, or whatever. And see, class guys gives them that extra bit of motivation. That's the, that's the idea about it. But it really is what it's all about. It really is all about the younger guys. You know, it's about giving them something to to work towards. You know, it's about giving them something, mm -hmm. uh, you know, an inspiration because it's difficult at the sort of lower levels to win titles, to win things like that. That's obviously something that you need to build up to. And it comes later on in careers. Mm -hmm. Uh, but awards like this, uh, you know, are going to mean something to people. Oh. You know, it's something that, that people are going to treasure, and as you say, you know, it's going to motivate people to to, to actually fight for it as well. Oh. Oh. The you know the, the preparation for the show we're in the on X uh, on Saturday, the first of July. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, how's the ticket sales going? Are they uh, ringside sold out? Just about like um, though, well, I don't have any ringside mm -hmm. left at all, so it's only the fighters that have some. Still got some standard left, but apart from that, I think we're going to have. A big crowd in, like close to a thousand anyway. So how much of the standard tickets that are left and where can people get them from? Uh, well you can get standard tickets for myself, we we'll probably will have some on the door on the night, they're 25 quid, and then any of the fighters that are on the show, they will probably still have their tickets on them as well. So. And finally before we, we move on to the fighters, uh, you know, how about support from uh, businesses round about, have you had much in the way of sponsorship, you know, would you like um, to give a shout out to any of your sponsors? We've got Safab, um, Lily Go Events, Sculpt from Greenock, Musclebound, and I think that is us. I think that's all we've got so far. And really, you know, the, the, the sponsors for shows, you know, do, do a tremendous, uh, you know, they, they help the shows uh, uh, tremendously. It takes a bit of pressure off, anyway, definitely helps. Um, it's daft things like we've got people flying up for England, that's helped us that way, and it helps us with accommodation and stuff like that. So it's just an added bonus, really. It, it's an expense that's covered that you don't need to worry about as such. So also on the show uh, on Saturday, uh, Steve Irvin. Stevie, 
Uh, thanks for coming on to Combat Scotland TV. Tell us a wee bit about your, how your preparation's going and about your opponent as well. Uh, my preparation's going good. Uh, training hard as usual, every day running. Uh, weight's well underway. So uh, that's going good. And I've been training specifically to my opponent and studying him a wee bit. And, uh, I'm confident I'm going to take fun. I know not all, not all fighters study their opponents, sometimes they'll leave that to the coaches or do a fighter, but does like to, do you like to see your opponent before they fight them? Yeah, I like to. I like to know what I'm up against. If I don't know what I'm up against, it doesn't really bother me, I'll just go in and fight my fight. But this time I, I know what I'm up against and I know I need to get the win. And the training camp itself, you know, has the training camp been a good one? Has it been? Uh, yeah, it's been good. It's like, been a good buzz about the gym because all the other boys are fighting Jazz, Nico, all that, Nick, Mikey and Paul. So there's a bit been a good body about the gym to say for the preparation. And just the same, you know, do you have any uh, sponsors or anything like that? Is anybody you'd like to give a shout out to? Uh, no, Andy Dock, as Nisha's already mentioned, for the and when that bit's about right now. Taking care of the bumps and bruises, uh, that's it. So Craig, finally just to just to tie up, uh, just to finish off the interviews as well. Um, thank you very much, first of all, uh, for inviting us into the gym. Uh, it is much appreciated. Uh, I hope this helps you, you know, I hope this helps uh, you know, get the, the, the sort of ticket sales uh, and get the, the show sold out. You know, obviously I'm going to be announcing the show as well, but I can't wait uh, for this show. You know, it's one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I think it's going to be quite an emotional night uh, for a lot of people, uh, but you know, I think it's going to be a great night. I think the, the fights you've got on this card uh, are tremendous. Uh, Thank I think you know, it's looking at a really strong card. I've spoken to a few people over the, over the last week or so. Uh, about the card and everybody, uh, everybody that's going is really looking forward to it. Good. Is there, uh, you know, what, what's your plans after this? What's your plans for, for uh, Blitz after this? Are you going to keep it at the Onyx? Are you going to move it somewhere else? Are you I think, um, ideally, we would like to go and keep it in Claybank because it started in Claybank. It started in the Playdrome, but the Playdrome's since shut down. Then they've opened the new leisure centre and it's no fit for purpose. It is, but it's the same size is the old playdrome, but they're only al allowing the new half the capacity in, so it makes no sense for me to put it in there. But I think eventually they might see that the, there is room for us to come in. If not, then uh, the Onyx have been amazing. Like Alan Cunningham has been perfect. Like he's been melling good with us. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Like if if it's a success, which I'm, I'm pretty sure it will, then we probably will go back. But as I say, it's like as a a hometown show, it's Clay Bank, so if we can go back then we will. Um, apart from that, we're just going to keep it once a year, as usual. It, it gives something for somebody, it gives people something to look forward to, every year. Like, there's people who have got shows on three, two or three times a year, and people can go, oh, I missed that one, I'm sorry, I'll go to the next one. But a lot of people get excited about the Blitz, and that's what I like about it. Like, people like to come just to want to go, oh, the Blitz is coming, they know when it is, and they want to go, so I want to keep it up. But obviously we've lost Nico now, but I'd just like to say to all of you, uh, thank you very much for taking time out your, your camp, taking time out your Sunday as well, uh, and talking to us uh, here on Combat Scotland TV. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Uh, thank you very much for joining us once again at the GTBA, uh, ahead of the Blitz 4 on the 1st of July, this coming Saturday. Uh, make sure you get down. There should be a couple of tickets on the door, but your best bet is either contact one of the fighters or contact the GTBA uh, gym itself and sort out a ticket from there. I'm Stuart Allen. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Yeah, 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 yeah.